Okay, I tried. I really did. I wanted to have them all at the same time, but real life hit me so hard, I wanted to just disappear. So we're just gonna see how I can do this, okay? But I am determined to get this done. These three have been a pain in the neck regardless, and I'm just ready for it to be over. So let's just get into it, shall we? <laughs> Okay, the three V's were never a part of the Zoophobia cast. I don't even think there was any characters that they came from or shared the same names with off the top of my head. I don't think so. So their pilot reveal is probably their first appearance, though Val and Vox both technically had more appearances later on, but nothing really changed. Well, I guess Val's number of arms changed, but technically he's always had them just the pilot made it seem like he didn't as you can see it was really hard to tell but yeah that was pretty much their look like even in the comics it wasn't any different and there's no concept designs to go off of so this is like the final product and i really wish i knew what the concepts look like because i'm highly curious on how this was gonna go but you know nearly all three had little info dropped about them other than the stuff we already knew like val's relationship with vox and angel they're all overlords vox's beef with alistair but velvet honestly there's like nothing other than at the time she was a cosplay loving clown influencer i say with question marks kind of like nifty there was nothing about her that was confirmed and she wasn't popular enough for people to ask questions so I can't say anything much about her, but you know, we're not here for them. We're here for Valentino. We're gonna start with him first. So Valentino is a wonderful character to hate. He hits all the boxes, or at least the fans make him interesting as his trivia is kind of meh. Other than Sam Miller, who I think is still on staff confirming Valentino as Hispanic, which finally some confirmation. <laughs> but honestly though, there's nothing that truly interests me about these characters other than their connection to the main cast. And we've gotten so little in general that I just don't have a fully formed opinion on them. Cause like the fans are what build up these characters and I love like the fanon theories behind Valentino, but I already know that when the show drops it's gonna be different. So I'm trying to not hold a full formed opinion until the show drops so I can actually get to know this character. But you know, all I can say is I hope these characters are as dark and mean as they're described to be. And not another joke villain, which Viv seems to make most of her characters like. Not to say that like every villain so far is the same type of jokester. Like, like Alistair is a tad bit different, but like we have Goofy Lucifer, we have Goofy Alistair, we have Goofy Vox, and we have uh like insanely clown-like Serpentius, and then we have Adam, who is insanely goofy as well, like in the worst way possible. Like every villain seems to be rather goofy in some ways. They all seem to share this a similar personality trait, but whatever. Uh anyway, Valentino's design, oof. I've seen people say they like this design, but I personally think it's the worst design out of everybody. But for some reason, the way fans seem to draw him always looks great. Like, I, 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 I just don't get how the fans are able to make him look better than the show's version. Because, like, his actual in-show self is, I'm sorry, but so ugly. Like, I don't understand why. Also, yes, he did get an upgrade. You can't see it, but I'm doing air quotes. <laughs> Just like Husk, Val changed only slightly. Like the hearts on his fur are now a pattern and he has less of them. Uh, he also has another gold heart where his second arms are and his antenna are heart shaped, which, which actually is a nice touch. Other than that, he looks the exact same. And I swear, if I hear one more person go, well, why change perfection? No, no, <laughs> sweetie, no. <laughs> <laughs> there is no such thing as a perfect design. Trust me, there's no such thing. I don't believe in perfect designs. I believe in good designs, but not perfect designs. And I hate to be that person, but Valentino's design is not perfect. And I'm rambling, sorry, anyway. But anyway, he looks the exact same, which honestly doesn't do him any favors. Uh, I've said this before in previous videos, but Viv has a weird habit of putting characters in costume versions of their era, and Valentino is no exception. His whole outfit is basically the Party City pimp outfit simplified. Like, there's so many outfits that could have worked better and looked less costumey, because it's still not been confirmed 
around, other than the fact that he is Hispanic and he died around in the 70s, which, funny enough, is around the time Husk died as well, yet they don't share any hints to their time period. But Ravel, I'm not 100% sure why he's not dressed in his era, as, like, if we're going with the 70s pimp look, which is what they're referencing with this style, why not dip more into the actual 70s aesthetic than just a cheap coat like because this like for real this is a coat that was made in the 70s not exactly like this but there there is a real coat that is inspired by this so i don't understand <laughs> why they didn't try and go deeper into the era anyway the redesign for me is just plain and ugly the colors are the same red white and black the top hat is just insanely silly plus again another character with a top hat i don't get it that wasn't a thing in the 70s anyway <laughs> but i don't know his whole outfit swallows him to the point you can't tell anything about him body wise or like underneath wise plus the outfit itself is relatively very plain for someone like Val, like his personality from the fans, again, I'm referencing the fans, but still, like his personality is larger than life and his presence is even larger than life. So why is his outfit so incredibly simple and boring? Like it's not intimidating at all either. Like I would not be scared of this man. I would probably laugh in his face. <laughs> like, yeah, he's tall, but tall people don't frighten me. Like, but also like his face is super small and covered by his hat and fur and sunglasses, which by the way, are the same color as his eyes, the sunglasses, not the fur and hat though the hat is borderlining and teeth like his eyes teeth and sunglasses are all the same color like the overlapping is gonna be crazy anyway i can't think of anything else to say since again there's like nothing about him and yes i checked if his pitch bible was leaked but he was weirdly the only one not a part of it also vox and velvets were leaked and i will talk about it but i'm not gonna show you guys anything i'm gonna respect that i am just going to relay some of the information that i learned that went into creating the designs okay when redesigning valentino i decided to do what i didn't do for vaggy and that was pick a moth to base him around so to stick with valentino's 70 theme and his overlord status i mixed him with a regal moth and an atlas moth for size and color uh as for wings i like to think bug type demons hide their wings as they're probably a pain to have out all the time and are the more delicate part of their body like even angel hides his third set of arms like i know they're not wings but still anyway for valentino's face i didn't change the structure other than give him a beard slash hairline he's still bald it's more markings than actual hair but you know since the 70s were all about hair and fur it makes sense for val to think body hair is sexy and fur is fancy <laughs> Anyway, I also made his eyes a blue color just so his eyes pop more because, like, I'm not super sure about the sunglasses on either my design or the canon ones as I already talked about it, but, like, it's gonna be so much harder to read his face sometimes because of them, but technically I did still add them, but they're more for style than anything, and I would probably have him take them off when talking to people. Uh, I also rotated them to look more like wings than hearts. I decided to go with a subtle heart theme instead with Val's design, since so many characters already have a ton of heart themes, and because I don't really see hearts as Valentino's thing. Like, for me, the heart theme works for Angel the best, where Whereas for Valentino, it's just like, it doesn't make sense for what he does. And like, I don't know, I don't, I don't, this is all my thoughts, you know, because we still don't know what this character is like outside of fan and theory. So personally for me, I don't see the hearts. I see more of like the upside down heart or maybe just like, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what kind of symbol I would give him. Anyway, as you can see, I moved his second pair of arms up because someone, and I'm sorry, I can't remember who, made a good point about the second set of arms some characters have and that where they're located doesn't make sense anatomy wise though yeah it is a fantasy show you're still gonna want to know how the skeletal system works for your characters and since where angels and vows are it would it would be like a really weird skeletal system along with like hip bones but anyway i moved them up and made vows chest bigger to accommodate his added arms as for his antenna i simplified them and made them both have fur as i don't really get why val has one fur antenna and one one without so with the way that val's original antenna are it would imply that he arrived in hell like that and i don't understand this the symbolism behind that or like the style choice behind it as well because personally for me it doesn't make much sense either way i find it funny they made the black parts of his antenna hearts as that's technically not animation friendly so again 
they're doing the most while also basically lying and saying these are animation friendly when they clearly are not but whatever uh anyway for his outfit i had to dig deep for this one as i really didn't want to like accidentally replicate my human valentino outfit i really wanted to make something new for this redesign so so i sampled more magazine outfits but added more embellishments such as the bigger shirt collar wings and added bottom wings. It's, it's sort of supposed to look like a heart and wings together. I hope I nailed it because in my brain I know what I'm doing, but I know for everybody else they don't. Anyway, uh, the vest, jacket, and hat are a set piece as that's usually how catalogs work back in the day. If you're unaware of what a catalog is, it's basically where you, uh, back in the day you could order clothes. It still does technically exist, but they're way more pricey and a little bit more furniture based than anything. Anyway, the point is pimps tend to dress more matchy-matchy, like, like same colored suits, but I like to think that Valentino is interested in other fashion expressions, like more feminine style, not as much as Angel, but more on the side of where likes to show off some skin, wear heels, and a little bit of makeup. <laughs> Hints to his 70s inspired Y2K bell bottoms, because bell bottoms wouldn't have fur at the bottom of them, that is for sure. <laughs> and Valentino heels. Yes, there are Valentino heels that look like these. Anyway, for Valentino's coat, they shortened it and made it more of a cape style where he never puts his arms through it. And to stick with Vivzy Pop's number one theme, I added pinstripes. Not really a style of the 70s, but more of Vox's era, kinda. But pinstripes are considered to be very expensive and fancy, so of course Valentino would want people to think that about him. Though the zebra print is super tacky because if we're led to believe it's white tiger then ha nice try tiger fur is nowhere near that fluffy so it's clearly faux fur or just cheap fur dyed that way trust me i spent a lot of time studying fur fashion it's both haunting and fascinating also off topic but don't buy fur unless you research the hell out of the place you want to buy from and resale fur is just as good as new. I have two pieces that were passed down and they're in perfect condition. And faux fur may seem like a good substitute, but it's still plastic fibers that aren't biodegradable. Anyway, sorry about that. Just super passionate about fur fashion. I find that there is a good balance if you know what you're doing and do the research behind it. For Valentino's for details, I put tiny heart buttons on his pants as a nod to Vox and Angel, the two loves of his life. Well, if you can call it love. Uh, anyway, for color, I stuck with the moths I referenced and sticking with the 70s color schemes because most of the time back in the day, I think it was mostly yellows, orange, browns, greens, reds occasionally, but all, all of them were very like earth tone colors. Hence why Valentino has more an orange brownish color going on and a more wine red than his neon red <laughs> overall the color scheme was supposed to give like this false sense of warm and friendly vibe you know because when we think warm and friendly we think yellows and oranges you know nice and cozy and sweet so this is the kind of color palette that would like trick people into thinking that valentino is a relatively nice guy but in reality that is a lie and also really like the idea that him that him and angel's relationship shows how backwards they are I mean, a moth trapping a spider, very clever theming. Not sure if Viv intended that, but eh. Uh, anyway, I really like what I made. Still needs a bit of work, but that's what the animation friendly versions are for. <laughs> uh, anyway, next video will be Vox, who I am so excited to show off. Neon is my passion. <laughs> and I don't want I don't want to spoil anything. Okay, uh, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and me. I hope you all have a super fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! It's gonna be so sad when the owl house ends, and I'm gonna have to find a completely new bye. <laughs>